Welcome back, everybody, to another uh, ROM overview. This one here, uh, as you can see by the wallpaper, uh, is Moki. Um, I can remember running this ROM back, um, geez, uh, when I was running Kit Kat and Jelly Bean. Um, I've been following the progress on their Google, uh, on their Google site or their the Google community. And I was fortunate enough to be uh, perusing XDA today and saw that there was, uh, they had introduced it to the Nexus 6. So, uh, you know me, I had to flash it. Uh, I jumped right on board, uh, downloaded and flashed, and this is a really, really cool ROM. Um, if you were looking for a ROM with a ton of features, this is not the ROM for you. Uh, this is at least not yet. Uh, if I can remember uh, correctly, they do or will uh, eventually uh, have more features than they do now. But remember, this is their release. This is their introduction to the public um, for the Nexus 6 anyways. Uh, I, I'm going to warn you that when you flash this, um, when it comes up, you're going to notice everything is in Chinese. So don't freak. Uh, you just have to um, scroll down to English. Um, and hit that, and, and once you hit English United States, if that's your choice, of uh, if that's your um, your language, uh, then you would just hit next and then continue on, and everything will be in English. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that so that after you flashed it, you didn't freak out and think something was wrong and just stop. Um, I'm going to go to About Phone. Uh, as you guys can see, this is Moki. Uh, version 6.0.1 Shamu. Uh, this is a nightly. Uh, this is Android version 6.0.1 for the Nexus 6, as I said earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I am running the uh, uh, Despair Kernel. Um, I and the only reason I am is I, I try to I like to try to run the Supply Kernel, but there was nothing posted on the, uh, in the OP as far as uh, encrypting goes or anything like that. Um, I didn't want to ask um, without doing a lot of research first, so I just decided to flash a kernel I know does not force encryption and just be done with it. Um, but I will look this up. I'll, I'll dig deeper into this and let you guys know. Uh, as you can see, you can see here on the build date, uh, it is in Chinese. <laughs> so... Um, Again, uh, that's the way it is. Um, there's not a whole lot to this, uh, so it, this is going to be a fairly quick video. Um, they have the Moki Center. Uh, this is where you can um, you can you know download your uh, updates. Um, if you go to the site, you go to the XDA site, you will see uh, you'll read actually on how to do this. Uh, it's very simple. Um, you don't, uh, you can just, uh, uh, download an update or script, throw it in there. Uh, it's a really quick update for nightlies, or you can do it like I do it, which is download the whole thing and, but it's, it's actually pretty cool the way they do it. Um, this is under the support, that's under the updater, and this is under extras, just so you guys can see. That is under Moki Center. Um, developer options. I'm going to run through this real quick. Um, just because, uh, you have your advanced reboot, of course, um, uh, and then your, your app, or your, uh, root access. Um, if you scroll down, then your Android debugging. Uh, if you scroll down, you're going to see your multi-window is under the, um, the area where you want to, where you would change your, uh, animations, uh, in that. Uh, there it is there. And then all the way down at the bottom, you have the choice to kill uh, app back button. Those are the three that I'm really interested in. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure that the largest majority of you guys are. So those are the ones I wanted to show you under developer option. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of everything else in here uh, that I don't show you is, is just like every other Marshmallow uh, ROM out there. Uh, under status bar, these are the settings you have. What's really cool, or uh, I guess kind of weird, is they say that this is an AOSP-based ROM. And I found out it is, just because I'm doing this screen recording. Uh, 
that in itself says that this is not CM. But when you flash this and you go through the settings and then you, you know, to set up and then you start going through the settings, it really looks like Cyanogen Mod, like they based it on that. But it's not because all Cyanogen Mod ROMs right now um, that I'm aware of, you cannot do screen recordings. They, it just, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll shut your phone right off. Um, but as it is, the screen recording is working on this, so this is definitely AOSP based, and that's what they say it is. So um, I, I just think that's pretty cool. Uh, but you do have your, your clock settings center. Uh, you can set seconds if you want, AM, PM, um, you know, all your basic stuff. This is what you would find in Cyanogen Mod, if I recall correctly. Uh, battery, battery style percentages there, your brightness control, uh, your quick pull down if you want that. Um, you show Super Sue, and of course your uh, headset icon if you guys want that all shown, you can do that. Um, boy, guys, I'll tell you. Uh, under home, uh, it, look at the launcher. Uh, it's called Knox Launcher. Um, it's it to me looks like you know the AOSP launcher, uh, but uh, they're calling it Knox. Um, under security, uh, you know, these are your basic settings under security, uh, buttons, here's where you would change all your buttons, and yes, they do work, uh, edit, you just grab it, physically move it where you want it, hit save, and you're good to go, uh, there is no settings for color though. Uh, here's your power menu options. Not a lot. This may get more. Remember, this is the initial release, so this may get uh, uh, this may get updated and add more and more to this. Because I can remember running this ROM uh, on my Note, my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I also uh, remember this in KitKat on my Note 8, uh, my tablet, and this was my favorite ROM on my tablet, and it had a lot of features. Uh, then you have your uh, end call, uh, pressing the power menu, you can power button, you can enable that if you want, uh, and your uh, press power button twice for camera, uh, all that's in there. Uh, your lock screen settings, there's not a lot under lock screen settings, I did notice that. Uh, you can set it up to put your lock screen message to whatever you want. I have, of course, Haze Tech down. Uh, you guys can put whatever you want, or nothing at all. Uh, it's in, you know entirely up to you. Uh, if you're if you like to listen to music, uh, they do have that uh, display music uh, visu uh, visualizer in there too. Uh, let's see here. Here's your notifications. Uh, they do have the heads up switch right there where it's accessible. You don't have to go searching for it. That is where it should be. <laughs> Take note, other developers, uh, it, heads up is a notification uh, or a type of notification. The settings should be under notifications. Uh, so they did get this one right. Uh, I, I kind of like that. Uh, display and lights, again, uh, same as all the other ROMs out there. Notification lights, you can set them up to whatever you want. Uh, that is my setup. It does work by the way. Now, I haven't had a chance to set up Google Now or anything like that, uh, or Google Now on tap. Um, I will tell you this. Google Plus is still not working. It's not this ROM, though. Uh, it is an issue with Google. The more people that get online uh, or go to the Play Store and email Google Plus about this issue, the quicker we'll get it fixed. But as it is right now, uh, with the latest update from the Play Store, um, we're having all kinds of problems uh, uh, running Google uh, Google Plus. Uh, you can, if you if you can even download it, um, it'll start and then it'll say cannot connect. But that's the issue. If you try to download it from the Play Store, uh, it's it gives you a 505 error. It's 505. So just so you guys are aware of that. Uh, under sounds, um, if uh, I'll tell you guys. Um, Moki advertises this ROM uh, or their development as being different. 
it is definitely that they do have a lot of different sounds and notifications from some of the others so uh, I give them I give them kudos on that one too and that's pretty much it guys um, there are no custom settings for this at least not yet uh, I would give them some time on that uh, this is why I downloaded it right here um, it does come with the theme engine they decided uh, to stick with signage and mods theme engine and man I'm glad they did uh, we have far too many, uh, far too many uh, layers, ROMs out there. Uh, and I'm telling you from everybody that I've talked to, um, they all agree with me on the, um, the signage and mod theme engine versus RRO issue. And that is that signage and mods theme engine is much cleaner. It works much better. It's easier to use. Um, and it looks, it just looks better. Um, so, you know, and, and I'm just telling you guys, that's my opinion. You guys can base your opinion on whatever you want, and I back you 100%. Um, I'm just going to throw a theme on here real quick to show you guys it works. I'm just trying to think which one I want to go with. Uh, let's go with the Umbutu, uh, Umbutu Dark. We'll hit the Style. Uh, I want to go with a different status bar, though. I'm going to go down here to Shadow Status Bar. Whoops. Apply. Um, I'm going to keep the wallpaper I have on it. I am going to come down here to Icons and go with the MUI to kind of keep in line with the whole uh, <laughs> with the whole ROM the or the whole uh, yeah the format going on here. Uh, we're going to go with the icons, apply. Because uh, Moki is kind of, uh, it's kind of this, you know, the, the MIUI thing and, and all that. If you go to their website, it's really weird. Uh, you guys have to check it out. So we've got that. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I know what. I want to change the fonts to clear. Or transparent dark. They, I think they have the best looking fonts in my opinion, or at least my taste. That, that this is what I like. And that's it. Let's go home. Uh, I do notice that all the fonts or the icons did change, so I don't have to do anything with that. Beautiful. As you can see, here's my drop down. Uh, that is with this. Um, Theme that I'm running or that I have created uh, with multiple themes. Uh, this is what the settings menu looks like under the Ubuntu um, Dark, uh, the Play Store. I would show you I would show you Google Plus, but I'm going to get this. See, I'm just. It's hard to believe I could even uh, I could even get this far with it. Um, well, guys, uh, that is uh, that's it for this one here. Um, but again, this is Moki. Uh, it is for the Nexus Six. This is Android Six Zero One. Um, I hope you guys uh, liked the video. Um, I just want to thank all my subscribers again. Um, I never would have thought I would have gotten this many subscribers, to be honest with you. Uh, so, uh, I do appreciate it, guys. Um, and I am definitely still looking for some really cool, uh, ROMs to let you guys see. I just don't want to throw some crazy thing out there for you guys. Um, I, I kind of pick and choose. But if you guys have a suggestion on, on one that you would like to see, uh, let me know. Um, I am all for flashing. I'm a flashaholic, so, uh. You know, I do a lot of testing. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, let me know. I'll throw it on here, and uh, and I'll make a video of it. Uh, this is Glockman4519. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you on the next one.